chickies welcome back to my channel welcome back to the first sunday faves and nays for 2019 this is basically where i test out a couple of products for the week give you guys my feedback on it how it worked out for me just remember whenever i review products just take it with a grain of salt what may work for me may not work out for you guys and vice versa i love testing out makeup i love sharing these things with you guys in case you guys are new here i would greatly appreciate it if you please subscribe to my channel i would absolutely love it if you'd be part of the chicky crew also don't forget i upload monday wednesday friday and sunday tuesdays and thursdays are more for like cooking or eating type of videos the first thing i really wanted to talk about is from the brand l'oreal now this is the very new foundation i've been testing it out for a good like two and a half weeks it's the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation it also contains the spf 25 i have this shade shade number 465 it has a pump which i'm sorry i know it looks pretty gross this is also a pretty good spot on match for me it does oxidize um, that's something to keep in mind let me just show you really quickly the formulation it is quite liquidy it is available in so many different shades so many different undertones which i think is amazing it's a major bonus in my book that it contains the spf you guys know i'm such a stickler when it comes to spf on the face i love the way how it looks in videos in photos i love that it contains the spf 25 it's definitely medium to buildable full coverage without it looking cakey it's breathable on the face it has so many wonderful properties to it i've been wearing it in my previous video Videos last week I'm not wearing it today though there is a specific reason why major thing that I just could not get past is the scent there is a at least for me I feel like this has a very prominent florally fragrance to it the fragrance just lingers so long on me I want to say about between two and a half to three hours I just couldn't get past the fragrance aspect of it and I'm one who is sensitive to fragrances depending on what the product is and this was unfortunately just a nay for me from the brand the creme shop now ooh, something just fell so i happened to pass by this huge display at cvs it's a korean brand uh, makeup i've been really curious about their products and i thought it was amazing that cvs is now going to be carrying it so i decided to pick up a couple of items and this is called the my wand and my wand and only matte liquid lipstick i have two different shades we have desert retreat and mauve over no crackling no feathering applies as a liquid and dries to a velvety matte finish let me show you guys the packaging on these because they're really cute it looks very luxurious it has the matte uh, frosted containers and it also has a doe foot applicator this is called desert retreat it's really pretty pink that has a thin formula so that's one of the things i liked about it mauve over i honestly don't feel like it's a mauvey pink it feels like it's almost like a fuchsia type of pink at least when i swatch it that's what it looks like again it has that really nice thin formula are so velvety smooth i love the way how they apply however it has this um almost like a paint and an oil type of scent to it i don't know what it is with me in scents this week but it's the first thing i noticed right off the bat about these i think if you're not sensitive to scents then these are something worth checking out but i just felt like for the price point i think they were around like 7.99 or so this was something that i just could not overlook also picked up a highlighter which i am wearing today this is the creme shop aurora powder highlighter and this one is in the shade called light years i mean the packaging again packaging is so cute on this here is the actual highlighter let's i want to swatch this for you guys so i am wearing it today on the high points of my cheeks it's a really beautiful golden highlight you guys i feel like it is a tad bit on the powdery side it also just sits on top of the skin so with this product i had to make sure i went back in with a sponge and just kind of pressed it into the skin very pretty gold color but it just wasn't a highlight that had that wow factor for me so this unfortunately it was also a nay for me a blush now this blush is called the mon Cherie powder blush and i have the shade called rose rose day 
Again, the packaging is beautiful and here is blush itself. It's a really pretty satin type of finish, a blush that is subtle, it's buildable, but again, the formula on this just really wasn't my favorite. I had a bit of difficulty blending it out onto the cheeks. There were times when it looked patchy, so I had to go over it again. These products for me were just a bit disappointing in my opinion, especially for the price point, because I really believe there are so many great drugstore products out there, but these for me were just a nay, unfortunately. So, so now on a more positive note, my yays for the week. First one is from the brand e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's the Modern Metals Lip Gloss. Really gorgeous lip gloss that has tons of shimmer. You guys can see the shimmer in here. Now the shimmer in this lip gloss, I am wearing it today on the center of my lips for a bit of shine. I'm actually wearing it on top of the Pixi Beauty Matte Beige Matte Last Liquid Lipstick. Guys, this is such a great affordable lip gloss. You can definitely feel the shimmers a little bit. They're not as finely milled as the ones from Makeup Revolution. This one definitely has a bit more chunkier glitter, but it's not uncomfortable. It has a bit of stickiness to it, which is expected because it is a lip gloss, but I mean, this shade is absolutely beautiful. Affordable lip gloss from e.l.f. Cosmetics. The last but not least for my faves of the week, I did a whole review wear test demo on this. It's from the brand Maybelline. This is one of the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade. I have number 380, which is deep brown. I'm wearing it today. This is such a great drugstore brow pomade. Although it does look pretty small, it is quite affordable, especially if you can use a coupon with this, if you wait for a sale. I think it's a really good brow pomade. I know it says that it's supposed to be smudge proof, waterproof. I honestly don't agree with the claims of it being smudge proof because I did test that out. It has a little bit more of a waxy feel to it, which I think works perfectly for my brows since I have very sparse, thin brows. So I like to work with something that has a little bit more of a waxy feel just because it's easier for me to draw it onto my skin. So that's something to also keep in mind. It also does come with a dual ended brush with a spoolie on one end and then an angled brush on the other. All right, guys, so that's everything I ended up testing out this week. I'm really curious what you guys think about these products. Have you guys tried any of the items I mentioned in today's video? How did they work out for you? I hope you guys enjoyed today's Sunday faves and nays. If you guys did, please make sure you smash that like button as well as don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Turn on those post notifications to be notified of new videos. If you chickies enjoyed this video, make sure you guys check out the videos right over here. You might enjoy those as well. Thank you, Chiki, so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Mwah.